What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ooch. I'm here with my brother, Ooch. And we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? You are nailing those freaking back and once again. <laughs> All right, everyone, what's happening? It's your boys for another Bleach Reaction, episode nine. Um, I appreciate all the comments and the love you guys have been giving us on these episodes. Keep that up and also make sure you are liking as well. Um, and from what I asked last week when I was asking about like the cores and like if, uh, you know, like how many episodes we're getting, we're, people are unsure. Yeah, yeah we, there, there's no certainty. So, I mean... That might be an indicator that this could just keep going. It's possible. Which I'm sure we're not going to complain about, obviously. I ain't going to complain. No, <laughs> sir. Not going to complain. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I well, guess. So. I mean, yeah, until they say something, then they're probably just going to keep it rolling. Yeah. Yeah. I'm which, assuming. Yeah. Which, at that point, it, it's good that they do because, like, this arc is kind of long, but I'm, I'm actually now I'm looking forward to seeing, like, what things Kubo wanted to do because keep in mind he did rush because he was sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now this is kind of like the first time where like it's not going to be filler, but there's going to be content that gets inserted, but it's going to also be approved by him. So it's like, I guess it's not really filler anyway, but it's still stuff that was not in the original manga that I ho would hope would spruce up his original intended you know situation for the thousand year blood war arc. so mm -hmm. without further ado let's get right into it Someone leaving? Did someone like resign? I don't know. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, right? Because ain't nobody ready to be the head captain. <laughs> 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 what, are you, what are you talking about? Yeah. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, nah, that's... I don't remember. Well, I have a feeling... I have a feeling this has to do with uh, Unohana. I oh, think... No. Onohana was the one chick with the hair that she has it braided like in front of her and it like turn it goes from like like one braid. Mm -hmm. You know, if you once you see her, you know who I'm talking about. She'll probably be in the preview actually, or the intro, but I think it's about her, if I'm getting this right. Cause again, my memory is foggy, but I do remember her doing something. That was actually pretty dope because, again, in this arc, there's a lot of characters, captains, vice captains, and, you know, the other whoever's involved. Yeah. They get, like, shine in this arc. Like, a lot of people get fights. And I, and I'm, and I remember her fighting. So, we'll have to see. Interesting. Yeah. But I, I don't know if that's, that's who this was about. So, I guess we'll see. Oh, you know, they, they they finally put this song on Spotify now, right? They did? Yeah, it's there. Tough. I added it to my my uh, anime playlist called Asian Fire. Oh, yeah, so we're getting more Zero Division stuff. Oh, yeah, this 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 lady, yeah. Mm -hmm. She be cooking, and that's, that's on some nourishment, nourishment shit, too. I guess this is all mm. part of the healing process. 
Oh, pff, there you go. Oh. Wow, his all his shit's gone just like that. I don't know. <laughs> I still punched him. <laughs> He's holding it together, though. <laughs> You're probably all right if you could stand my punch. That's funny. Yeah, but I don't want Renji pushing it, though. Mm-hmm. I want him to heal proper. Yo, I could be wrong, but I feel like Renji is voiced by the same dude who does Choji. They oh, sound the same. Choji. They sound similar. What? What? <laughs> wow. Whoa. Mm. Oh. Yo. Yo. Damn, Renji and, and Ichigo, okay? Damn, they was fronting. <laughs> Damn, son. What? Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Ah, see Unahana, boom. <gasps> that's right yo oh my god i just remembered that so unohana is od you really? see you see how kenpachi is <clears throat> yeah so she's the first kenpachi that ass that's what i just said i don't even know that yeah. and so do, so do you understand what's happening like so he wants to teach kenpachi how to actually properly use his sword because think about it, Kenpachi is as OD as he is off of no no teaching. Mm. That's true. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> is that fried rice is she really about to cook for them right now I guess, that, I guess that's gonna get the energy of and then they gotta fucking you already get, know. They gotta go to the next spot yeah and you already know they about to be eating like kings Gatonden that's the main hall <laughs> she really meant what she said. <laughs> hey, they think they're about to get pranked. My God, yo, they ain't like mm -hmm. Goku, son. Da -da. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> it's ruining my meal. <laughs> Damn, they got so much food. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the same girl? Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> this is so baffled. I bet you it's her cooking that changes her appearance. All the spiritual pressure when she cooks. Wow. So she loses all the weight when she cooks. I'm fucking sleep. That's only Bleach does shit like this. They have characters that be like that.
Oh. She made the soul candy concept? Hmm. Wow. Wow, so they, their spiritual pressure is better because of the food that they ate. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, is the Afro dude? Yeah. Uh, who created he, South Park wow. <laughs> Oh my god. See, yeah. yo, Zero Division's OD. They fucking wild. They might look like a bunch of fucking jokesters on the surface, but there's, look, they're giving us like the explanation behind all of their shit. They're doing this within good time, too. They got through fucking, they're about to get through to what, two locations already? Yeah, like that, that was the second one just now. So now they're on their way to the third dude right here. Old Bleach would take fucking a couple fucking episodes. Mm -mm. With with fillers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mookin. Oh! Ooh. Ken Pachita. Yo, notice no bells? No eye patch? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they're going to fight freely. So that's a place for criminals originally? <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa. Oh, yo, look mm, at that face. I, yo. Oh, God, I remember that too. Yo, look at her chest. Sheesh. He gave her that scar. That's why she covers it. Yo, OD. The lore. The lore. Oh, did he? Oh, shit. Interesting. The original. Okay. The she was captain? in the original ones? Damn, she old as hell then. Oh, yeah, they're all old, but I didn't think she was that old. She was a notorious criminal? Wow. Yeah. A Zanjutsu lesson. Don't tell me only one of them. Oh no, my god. Shot, bro. Ain't this supposed to be training? Honestly, I this is okay. I feel like it's supposed to be, but I also feel like I think Unohana did step down and she's using this mm. as a way to like, you know, in case she does die type shit. Because look, they both left behind right. like something that, you know, was theirs to their vice captains as if like they're not coming back. Because they're fighting to the death. They're both fighting to the death right now. 
I don't know why. But I feel like maybe this is their way of getting Kenpachi to hone the sword. I don't know. Damn. Bro, this kind of OD, right? Yeah. She's talking shit. Yo, she put a sword in his shoulder? What? A blade? Wow. I guess this is a lesson. <laughs> oh, damn, they're fine with no rules. Before they did. Backstory. Mm hmm Damn, he felt fear for the first time when he fought her. Holy shit. <gasps> no shot. No. She didn't give a fuck. No. Wait, what? What just happened? Did he have a vision? Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Did she, hmm. bro? Does she have like a fucking an ability to give you visions? I feel I was just about to say the same thing. Oh, I think I understand better now. All right, so let's end. Okay. So I think what happened, what she just said, right? So his thing is he gets stronger when he's on the verge of death. Mm. So maybe something within himself kind of just does that where he visualizes his him, him dying. But in reality, he's okay. But he's on the verge of dying. And then boom, as you saw, like he was actually blocking her and then they, the, the fight continued. So that's actually pretty sick. But then she just said that her that was her sin at the end of it because it's like it's almost like they're trying to train this man to a certain point to where like he won't be on the verge of death again or something Maybe. like that. But then like if he gets to that point to where he gets so strong, then won't, then she might die. I think that's I think that's that's that was the nature of this episode was because like at the beginning I always forget the dude's name with the pink freaking coat that captain. Yeah, I forget. His I forget his name every time, every time. but. At the beginning, you see like the resignation letter type shit. And that's why I was like, oh, is this Unohana res like, you know, turning like like she's like quitting the 13 squad captains or whatever. But really what it is, is she's putting she's making it formal. But because of 
that captain wanting to train Kenpachi and he knows the only way to properly do that is if it's Unahana that does the the lesson in a sense. Mm. That's what I'm getting out of it. That makes sense. Battle is everything. Damn. Battle. The battle. That's next week's episode. Should be a good one then. More action. <sighs> Dude, I'm hey. That was a perfect episode. It really was. It really was. Like, you know, they're getting better at it. They're getting better at it. <laughs> when you think about it, like the way Bleach is taken care of, like when they when they do these episodes, like we thought last week that this week was just gonna be like a straight up cooldown. But again, this goes back to what I said that this arc, there's a lot that happens. And yet we did get a little bit of cooldown. But it flowed perfectly right into yeah. more action, or at least setting up more action. Like there was enough, there was enough interesting story to keep us going. Like, like oh, like yeah, it's pretty it's good. I'm happy <laughs> with it. You know, no complaints, oh, yeah. no complaints. Yeah, we're gonna have to fucking throw up some fucking bleach figures up here because I know we're on the full power podcast set. But you know, it's not like we we don't talk about other animes on there. But yeah, um, this week's episode was really sick. Um, I enjoyed it thoroughly like i i have been i haven't had a single complaint about any of these episodes since bleach has come back i could agree yeah <laughs> yeah so any other things you want to throw in there nah next episode should be a banger mm. so yeah definitely episode this, next week is the first double digit we're 10 in already already big 10 feel like bleach came back last week <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let us know your thoughts and uh, definitely feel free to correct me on anything that I might have thrown out there just because, you know, I'm trying to make sense of this as we're going. Um, but I probably do get some things wrong, but that's totally OK, because even though I did read this arc years ago, I totally forgot a lot. And I'm, I am remembering some things as we go along. So this whole Unahana Kenpachi situation, I totally forgot about. But now i'm remembering like oh yeah she is od like she was the first kenpachi type whatever so either way guys let us know your thoughts in the comments below like share subscribe hit us up on twitter all that good stuff support links will be in the description as always make sure y'all taking care of yourselves make the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside we'll see you guys next time